Hello? I think I'm live. I'm playing Divinity 2 at midnight because I'm losing my fucking mind. My anxiety is very bad. My feet are numb. That's not normal. Why are my feet numb? I don't like it, it's weird. <sighs> Assuming it works anyway. If it doesn't work, then uh, I don't know what to do anymore with this. Mm. Maybe I should just record Let's Plays instead of streaming late. That might be a better idea. I think I'm live. I don't know. My OBS looks different than it used to, so I'm not used to. I'm not. The feedback I get is different slightly. My freaking right foot is like numb. It's not asleep, it's numb, and I hate it. And I would like it to stop. Will the game run properly? It's just confusing, because it did at one point. It ran totally fine. Oh, need some V-Sync. Tell you that for free. It is functional. How do you play come this? On, come on, let's keep moving. Uh. It's a two-parter. First, I'll run a little favor for him, taking out an enemy of his called the Advocate, and he'll help me grow my capacity for Source. All the better to fight the demon with, according to him. After that's done, he'll be able to exercise the demon. It's almost too simple to be true. I guess we'll see what kind of fellow this advocate turns out to be. I really should have talked to the advocate as Losa, now that I think about it. It seems okay. Over here than a dozen rotten eggs. I don't know, it's still a little chompy. Yeah, auto detect me. It says all ultra. I don't believe that for a goddamn second. I don't come visit your tongue. Who will? Wouldn't you like to know? What are we doing? I know we got the mission to go to Arx. Uh, we need Arx. Oh, we took the deal, so that's done. There's Riker. Right, Jahan wants us to kill the Advocate. Panic wants us to save her helper, but I think we were a little too weak for that one. The Advocate agreed to help us, but only... I'm not helping the Advocate, that's for goddamn sure. And we need to find Shahila. Yeah, we can't do that yet. We found the Advocate in his minions. We should look over for travel levels on Fort Uber Shows and Wonder Nose. Shahila's in Fort Joy. There's so many things. What is even... The, what? Before the moment, we made a silver lever. Did we? The ugly little bird. The bird complains of the cold. It's desperate for warmth. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget. I don't know what to do. There's so many options. So level are we? Okay, I tell you what we first need to do is get the fuck away from this lady. 
That's when that's step fucking one. Caldwood's Mill. Maybe we should just walk around. Let's just venture around and illuminate the map for now. Seems like a good start. These guys aren't gonna start anything, right? Uh, We're cool. Sure? Them sorcerers from the caravan. We are not sorcerers. We are just lowly travelers. Don't tell them. Let me move my webcam up and just a tad ski. Silent Watcher. Classic. What happened to this fucking guy? Damn. That man got planted. Like a peanut. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna stream this for a while and try to... I mean, the streaming really helps me not have horrible panic attacks and fidget a shit ton. So that's what we're doing today. Did I ever meet the paladins? Hello, the paladins. Oh, it's a trap! Don't do it. Who goes there? Tell them you're an adventurer taking the road east. <laughs> if you're looking for adventure, east is the way to go. It's a void woken hellhole over there. Sorcerer at work. Powerful one. Of course, you could wait for the magisters to sort them out. You'll be waiting. Did we already, didn't we already kill them? Uh, ask what the pounds are doing out Only here. The fort, like we always do. Usually the fort in question is bigger than this one, but you do the job in front of you, don't you? Think sure. someone high up doesn't trust the magisters to do their jobs out there? Okay, bye. I got a weird attitude. I'm not a fan of it. Did we go across the bridge? I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, this guy, you can, you can get a mission from this guy. Sighting a stocky paladin seated ahead. If and tugs at your sleeve. This one I remember. Hardwin and I served together back in the war. Let me do the talking. Sure. The two men embrace amicably enough, but you sense an uneasy tension running beneath their smiles. Well, as I live and scarcely breathe, if it isn't Ifen Ben Mezd. Ifen Ben Mezd. I thought you died in the death fog. I thought you died a hero. But I suppose it's better to live as one. That was passive aggressive. You really gave those black ring what for, eh? Wiped them all out in the blink of an eye. Damned proud to have served you, Ben Mezda. Damned proud. Ifan's face turns sour as he mutters something under his breath that only the paladin can hear. Hardwin loses all camaraderie and blanches, stepping backwards. He puts one hand on his weapon. Okay, maybe letting him talk wasn't a great idea. You, you've changed. And for the worse, I'll not have the sacrifices of my fallen brothers maligned to my face. You survived, Ben Mezda. Be thankful for that, if nothing else. Well now. How's my favorite god woken? Ah, uh, what was that about? We find Grub in the forest, ask if we need tricks he could For teach you. Sure. Always carry a snack. True. If Anne reaches into his tunic pocket and pulls out a strip of dried raw meat, he takes a tiny bite and offers the rest to you. Sure, man, thanks. Now, what else do I have to share? If Anne rummages around the roll down tops of his boots and grins in victory as he plucks a single mushroom from the folds. Uh -huh. He hands you the mushroom with great ceremony, bowing as he holds it aloft. Raise an eyebrow and ask if he has anything else stowed on his person. If Anne smiles and looks around before reaching high into his sleeve and pulling out a tiny herbal wrap. The unmistakable scent of Drudenay hits you as he holds it out to you. <laughs> this man's like a magician. The last weapon in the Lone Wolf arsenal. You know, for after the toughest jobs. He winks and tips his fingers to his temples before loping off. I think you feel a like this guy probably doesn't want to talk. sits hunched over a tattered map. He registers your presence, sits back in his chair, taps his fingers on the map. Who are you and who sent you? Tell no one sent you, you're just passing through. He appraises you with a look, then grimly grins. Grimly grins. I think I've heard about you. Didn't you free the Meister from the gallows in Driftwood? Yeah. Then I may well have a job for you, if you're interested. 
Uh, what? He taps a finger on the map on the table. Oh, a little XP. I like that. Here, in the black pits, are white magisters. Their operation is shrouded in mystery, and this pricks our ears. We are gravely concerned. We believe the white magisters may have strayed into the darkness. I don't know how I feel about this guy. He seems a little sus. We suspect that Dallas herself and her master Vriedemann are the inspiration for these dark. Then heroes. again. Look under the white veil of secrecy. If we can prevent magisters from doing our evil, then uh sure. How much do you want? I have fewer paladins to pay, so I have ready gold. But there are limits. Settle for a reasonable sum, ask for an unreasonable sum, hit him for an unra outrageously unreasonable sum. So I know that if you ask for a hundred, he's like, oh, that's nothing. Here you go. So I'm going to ask him for 300, even though I don't even want the money. I just think he's a little bit evil. He thinks on this. It's a hefty amount. But for a job well done, we can stretch to it. He offers you an item. Okay. A whistle-like device It's nestled in your hand. When you're ready, send a war owl. Be careful out there. It's a dangerous place these days. And I'd like to think I'll hear from you again. And adventurer. Don't die. He looks you in the eye. Don't get caught. Fuck! If I get caught, I'll just kill him. It's kind of like what I'm good at. Maybe we didn't come this way. Because, like, you think I would have not taken the free loot? Unlikely. Also, you know, the map clearly shows that I haven't been this way. Oh, careful. Surely they're smart enough to... <laughs> okay. Playing with fire there, I see. Uh, so that's in the black pits. We found Void Woken and Carnage, but no White Magisters. I don't think... We haven't really had a chance to fully explore that, so I'm gonna leave that for now. Let's just light this area up and look around. I think the elves are over here somewhere. Oh, big spider web. That's probably not a bad sign at all. I'm being snarkastic. That probably is a terrible sign of death. Paradise Downs. Uh, fire? Fireballs? Everything. Everything is very dark all of a sudden. Uh. I don't want to go over there. I got decayed just by entering this area. No thanks. Let's just keep searching around. Free tree trunk. If I know anything about dark, like if I've learned anything from Darkest Dungeon, that's where the loot said. Carve and chisel a piece of rock, drown it in ale to make it talk. Enchant it with dust and see it burn. The rock ruins powers from the earth. Cool. Benny boy, you wanna? Identify that. Yo! Put that on, Fane. You need that real badly. I see yellow dots. Oh, I see elves. Elves are good. We're looking for elves. We need to find Sahila's people. Let's go, let's go chat him up. Wait. Who has the... One second. I think... Which one is my quest pouch? Not this one. Not this one. One of these has, like, quest items in it, I'm pretty sure. I need Sahila's crest, yes. Let me make sure I have that on me. I imagine it would just take it from me when necessary, but I don't know. Hello. Hi. Hello. Go no further. 
We are at ritual. Do not disturb us. Uh night. I'd like to see the ritual. That was easy. Enter that. Keep respect. Yes, sir. Why are they missing health? Three battle-weary elven warriors make ritual over the body of a fallen comrade. They're chanting low and fierce. The pain of their losses manifest in every word. Blood to earth, to wood, to birth. The blood of Sarius to this earth. Offer a prayer to Rollick for Sarius' soul. The tallest, strongest elf, whom you take to be the leader, considers you for a moment. She seems to give you the benefit of the doubt, and turns back to the task in hand. She places the tip of a long-bladed spear on poor dead Sarius's chest bone. Blood to earth. Her companions reach out and grasp the spear, ready to plunge it into Sarius's heart. I'm gonna not get involved on that one. I don't feel like that. That doesn't the feel like. gives you a curious look, then turns away. I mean, the prayer was out of respect, but I feel like I shouldn't, like, be... Oh, let me help with the plunging of the spear, guy. That Blood feels a little... To earth. That feels Together a little they much. plunge the blade deep into Sarius's heart, then twist three times in practice... Maybe movement. I should have helped, though. Blood flows freely to the ground, and Sarius's heart lies open to the world, neatly cut in four. Blood to blood. Each warrior plucks a piece of heart and places it in their mouth. Chewing solemnly, their leader looks to you to see what you will do. Okay, they clearly want me to participate, so I will. It tastes as raw heart meat will, with a subtle texture, slick with fast congealing blood. You feel instantly ill. The elven leader gives you a look of what you think might be approval. Sarius is a warrior, proud and true. Blood to blood, earth to earth. Wood to wood, birth to birth. Bars. Sarius becomes to bars. Tree. May Sarius take root. The elves pick Sarius's bloody corpse from the ground. It just looks like a pile of lettuce. Tova looks to you, then shakes her head. You should not help. The elves send Sarius to his final resting place. His corpse rolls to a stop at the bottom of the pit. The elven leader stands and stares at her fallen comrade. Then she wipes away a tear and turns away. Oh, I got a little disease from the heart. That's all right. It's worth it to honor the homie. Hello. I see you. Uh, hello. We are in ritual for our comrade Sarius, dead at the hand of a lone wolf. Uh-oh. That's why a lone wolf would have killed him. If you would talk of lone wolves... You must talk to Tova. The tall elf stares into the pit with dry, bloodshot eyes, her face betraying no emotion. She does not turn toward you. How's it going? That is our business. Fair enough. I thank you for honoring Sarius. But perhaps it is best if you move on. Tell her to wait. It seems your people have suffered a loss. You'd like to help. Please, leave me be. It is a long and difficult day. Why did I talk? With Losa. The tall elf stares. That is our. Let's try again. There we go. She nods and casts her gaze back into the pit where her comrade lies. We lose too much. We lose our homes. We lose our safety. We lose each other. She looks into your eyes, her face set in a fierce frown. It is enough. No more. Tell you understand how she feels. You've lost too much yourself. I do not doubt it. The void is too close. It pulls us all toward it. If we do not hold fast, we disappear inside it. You attempt to honor us during the ritual. You attempt to honor Sarius. You help remember him. But we need help still, or we perish here. Not only these people here, but all of us. What's the plan? I wonder if you honor us once more. 
That's what she needs. It is something of great importance to me and to my people. Our home forests are gone. The great trees are cut to pieces. The memories inside them nearly lost. They become nothingness unless we find our scion. Is this a healer? Because that's not good news if it is. She... She is... Her voice catches in her throat. She is my daughter. Her name is Sahela, and she is taken from us. That is why we come here. That is why we lose Sarius to find her. If she is lost, I got some Sarius great lost, news for all you. Our people are lost. She is everything. Her eyes narrow, her fists clench, and her mouth tightens to a thin line. Do you know the lone wolf? Yes. Then you know the risk. We come here to get her back. To bring her home. She is everything to me. She is everything to us. So you say you met her daughter while you were in Fort Joy. You do. You speak to her. Then you understand. You see what a gentle soul she is. You see how kind. Yes, very much so. She is not only a scion, but a precious child. She cannot uh, so you'll try to find her, ask for any information that might help. Honor. <sighs> Slurping up all that juicy XP. I fear it is impossible for one of my kind to enter their base. They know we are here. They expect us. She is taken by their leader. A savage man named Roost and Lone. Alright, we might have problems here. Because Ben is an em uh, lone wolf. If I lose her... But it sounds like we might have to fight some lone wolves. We plan another assault. We cannot give up. It is better for us all to die than for Sahela to be lost. I only hope perhaps you find her before then. Good luck. Uh oh. Well now, how's my favorite god woke then? If Anne looks at you askance, then doubles up laughing. He wipes tears from his eyes and stutters to speak, but he can't stop laughing enough to do so. <laughs> oh, she, 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 he was a fine one. You see there, she writes like a cottage innocent, but the truth is, it was she who stole everything from the camp. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> she wrote that whole book to cover her tracks, so nobody had looked for the missing gold anywhere near her. She never even met Roost, though she paints quite an accurate picture of his, uh, bedroom antics. And with that, he's laughing uncontrollably again, waving you away with both hands. If Anne smiles and salutes at you. Alright, well, maybe with a fun, if Anne, whatever, with us, we can get in without a fight. How did they get Sahila? Ah! Don't just stand there, you clown! Why did that happen? Classic mopper. I guess they've been fighting them, which is why this place is so fricked up.
Come on. Alright, well this was horrible, but we made it through. Alright, let's catch a rest. Uh, let's take the lead with the Benny boy here. And save. This might get a little spicy. What's up, fellas? What? The grim-faced guard raises his weapon as you approach, then stops short and quickly bows respectfully. Yeah. If and been missed, as I live and breathe. Didn't think we'd be seeing you again so soon, sir. Uh. Ask him if Bruce Danlin is within. He is. He'd be glad to see you too. Glad. He's open you'll bring friends. What? He winks at you so hard and so theatrically that one whole half of his face seems to squint. Roost upstairs in the big house there, sir. He's waiting for you. Reckon he's as eager to hear how you've been uh, getting on as the rest of us. What do you mean bring you friends? Missed, coming through. He's smaller than I expected. Excuse me? Handsome bastard, you know. Thank you. Alright, this is different. I had to fight all of these guys last time I was Unhappy here. Unhappy people are sloppy. Unreliable. It Maybe was quite the fight. I landed a mark in a while. I'm Unhappy. Or maybe I'm just horny. Gotta go. I think it was over here. Maybe. Oh, there she is. Hey, man, can I get a that? Uh... Man looms over a small elf. His hair a uh -oh. of matted knots. This could be a problem. Scars upon scars cross every inch of visible flesh, from his hands to his gnarled face. He slurps something into his mouth, thoughtfully chews for a moment, then spits it on the ground, where it lands with a sickly splat. It don't work for me, anyway. You try. He offers her something round and slippery, like a wet white marble in the palm of his hand. This is like some scallops. I do not defile the dead. Or a dead person. What's the difference, really? I knew an elf. We eat flesh to honor it, not to steal the secrets of the dead. Secrets, secrets, they're no fun. Secrets, secrets, hurt someone. Ifan clears his throat. Roost turns his face to you both and roughly wrenches the elf's jaw towards you as well. Wow. Look at that, elf. The silver claw is back. Hello? And my son ah, shit. tell me he's headed somewhere called the Nameless Isle. I'll be setting sail there myself any day now to take him out. Uh, Your oh, what failure is it? has put the reputation of all wolves at stake. You're losing your bloody touch. Your Mark Alexander still draws breath out. Oh, okay. But... I suppose I might be swayed to forgiveness by the other little god woken morsels you brought me. Define, he wouldn't betray Stay us. Stay away from the god woken roost. They're mine. Uh, I'll let Ifan handle it. Ifan steps between you and if, Roost, yeah, whatever. head high and hands wide. I can't let you take them, Roost. You know me. You know you can trust me. So believe me when I say this is bigger than any contract. This does not end well. That's not how it works. Let the rest of the world worry about right and wrong, good and evil. He's so strong. We've always had a narrower focus. And that's not about to change now. 
We've had good times, Ben Mist. We've had bad times. But this is the best time of all. You, just dancing a contract right into my lap. What else are friends for? Oh, this is going to be a really tough fight. Roost moves to lunge at you, but Ifan is quicker. With two steps and three stabs, he slows oh. Roost down just long enough for you to draw your weapon. Ah, oh, shit, here we go. Okay, gotta be careful because Sahil is here. The dogs have, like, no magic armor. That's helpful. He do be hasting. The animations do not be loading. Wow, he's very strong. Alright, stab his spine. Rupture his tendons, perhaps. Um, piercing damage. Yes, sir. God, he's got so much HP. He just had to bring in a freaking bodyguard. Okay. At least the wolves have very little magic armor. That should be very helpful. Do I have like a taunt of some kind? Provoke. Yeah. Fuck around, see what happens. Oh, there's two bodyguards? Shadow, the hedgehog? That is an individual that I would, yep, yeah, that's a shadowy individual. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be tough. I feel outclassed by every fight we do here. Okay, let's walk around. Avoid the reactive shot. Slap the dog's butt. That they do so much damage. Can I jump out of this? Like, safely? Oh, I can. I just dragged my ability off of my bar. That's not what I wanted at all. This one? Lower my settings again. It's still a little laggy. God, he's so strong. Did I hit her? Don't do that. Helpful, I can do. Uh, sure isn't. Armor of Frost. I don't think that's going to be very helpful. They're, they seem very physical. Hello, Lord and Lady are great names for wolves. For dogs, you know what I mean. Good hit. Can't see Lose's stats. She is getting destroyed. Oh my god. Your enemies are more powerful than you. Oh yeah, you think? I'm gonna teleport just to avoid getting attack of opportunity. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to fight everyone on the way out, huh? I don't know, this is feeling moderately doable. Easy, no. 
doable? Yes. Like, I can knock this dude down now, and we're laughing. Yoked. What is this also? What's going on with the, the devil mirror? Please tell me that's your only move. Now your turn ends, okay. Oh, they got so much magic armor. Oh, ass. Okay, maybe we're fucked. God, every fight I find, I'm just like a little, I'm just too weak for. some more level adjacent missions here. Why is the music different? I guess it's just the area we're in. I wonder if the missions, maybe the missions in the book have like level rec recommendations? That might help. They do not. I feel so weak. not yet eventually we're gonna hit a point though where we're gonna be strong enough to handle all this stuff and we're gonna be laughing we're gonna be freaking owning people left and right right now is unfortunately not that time who the fuck is fair now Could try to. I know there's a fight like here-ish, if I remember correctly. Oh, don't go in there yet.
You can tank a little bit of poison. Damn, Ben. He's jetting. I should clear up this whole area. Just in case I get XP with this for like, you know, traveling the new like a being in a new place. Or there's someone to talk to and I can do a quest. That's a little more accessible for me. Nice to have some squeaking elves around here again. They always put on such a show at those big old heads. Kaboom! Splash! Dizzle! Do not ever speak to me. The elven warrior stands guard over a captive magister. The magister looks a little worse for wear. Stay back. The thief stays where she is. Suggest they heal the prisoner? She looks like she needs it. Do the divine order tend our needs when they steal our lands, torture us, murder us? Yeah, but I mean, like... Bringing yourself down to their level doesn't make you much better, now does it? We only return what is given. You're stupid. You're a fucking idiot. And I hate you. You recognize Diana, the runaway scion from Fort Joy. Uh, do I? Her face looks different. A light with fervor. You! I warn you not to follow! Uh... I didn't. You... Accident. You... Oh, she was the person on the boat. Her face, tight with rage, suddenly slackens. She winces. Forgive. The armor warns of thieves. I did not expect friends. Uh, she seems worn down. Ask if all is I well. Am better. I find another thief, and the armor reveals much. She gestures at the bound magister and freezes as if listening. Yes. Yes, simpler to show them. Come, watch, do not touch. Come here, Duran. The scion's eyes widen. Gasping for air, she looks to you. Her surprise quickly replaced by. Maybe warn us a little better. You, how dare you interfere? What are you talking about? What do you mean? You killed them, not me! What? Hold, what in the fucking world just happened? This lady just killed a guy, then blamed me because she killed the guy. What? What? You exploded him with your plant magic, and then you went, why, why did you do that? Are you stupid? Was that too close? I don't understand. Understand what I did wrong. Well, are you? Are am I what? I didn't do anything wrong. God, my knees feel so like loose, like my legs could just pop off at any second. I'm gonna try that again, but maybe be less close. Ow. Ow, I loaded the wrong game. Ugh, the load screens take so long.
let's give that another go. I just want like a consistent frame rate, man. separate everyone, I'm gonna separate the party, I'm gonna go talk to her alone and hope that there's enough distance and everything is cool. Save again. What is happening here? You recognize Diana? You. I'm you. Her face. Forgive. I am better. She gestures. Yes. Yes. Watch. Do not touch. Come here, Duran. This still feels too close. bubbles beneath putrid gas okay and is cut suddenly short I don't know what happened last time but that seemed more correct the corpse rocks gently as if shifting in sleep and then splits to release surging vines the creepers knit silently Creeper. to weave a pair of gauntlets Diana tears them free something close to worship in her eyes do you see now it is a marvel uh, that was horrific. No, it is a beautiful act, a holy act. No, that was psychotic. You're evil. The thief is unworthy soil from which to grow, but it hurts her, and that is enough. Uh, look at the elf closely. She changed. The spore seems to be corrupting they her. Elevate me. The spores speak as scions speak to the ancestor trees, with every piece. They grow clearer, and they show me things. Yeah, she's nuts. A world where we are not prey, but hunters. A world where... where... She grasps her head, as if trying to clear it. It is for us to know. Yeah, you're not normal. The elven warrior greets you with a scowl. Keep walking, outsider. Or what, you pasty bitch? The ancestor speaks. She places a hand on her armor, eyes shut, as if straining to hear. Ah, it fades. It must be whole. Are you okay? The no, I must be better. A scion hears the ancestors. I hear only whispers. The armor must be complete. Then the ancestor helps us, helps all. Okay, good luck with that. You're fucking crazy. Where are you cacawing it? Ask him how he came by his powers. Uh-huh. Right. Oh. Say you meant no offense. You're not gonna do anything? <laughs> what is it? Nothing. Nothing at all. Not a damn thing. All right, I'm gonna end here. Uh, I'm probably gonna try to avoid doing these late, late streams. 
I mean, I think I can probably get the same effect by just like recording like a Let's Play or something and just kind of talking to myself and chilling. Oh good, my back is bleeding. I love that. I love that. Thank you for being here. I'll be live... I, actually, I don't know if I'll be live tomorrow yet for sure because I don't know. I gotta go over to Victor's to record the podcast and I think we're... I don't know if we're playing D&D on Saturday, so I don't know if I'm spending the night. Ah, come on, man. Why? How is there so much blood? Sometimes my... I got, like, some back problems. Sometimes my back be bleeding. Like, it's not that bad. It's not, it doesn't hurt. It's just, like, a lot of blood. <laughs> it messes up my shirts. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, catch you when I catch you. Apparently my stream... Oh, right, I forgot every time Divinity 2 closes, it needs to sink and it destroys my internet. Forgot about that. Apologies, I forgot whenever I close Divinity 2, it needs to upload a lot of data. Apparently. It really fucks my internet up. <sighs> Thanks for watching. I'm not 100% sure when I'll be live again. Because uh, I'm not sure what my plans are for the next couple days. But we'll see. Mm-hmm. <sighs>